Hey guys, what's up? This is Jamal Lamente from Guts to Rise Above. Welcome back, guys. Hope you've had a swag-tastic week so far and that it's been productive. But in today's video, guys, I want to talk about a muscle that's totally underrated. You know, doesn't get a lot of love like the abs do. And they're so important for, uh, for pretty much every activity that you do in your life. And that is the obliques. <clears throat> you know, when most people would think of ab training, they just, think, they just think of training the abs and losing weight to reveal their abs. But, you know, the abs are important, but there's no, but the bleaks are just as important as the abs. They also help in function of bending the torso uh, forward, backwards, and into uh, awkward uh, positions and angles. And without your obliques, just like your abs, you would crumple and break in half. And you know you just you wouldn't have a stable foundation from your core to help you uh, to function properly in any daily activity in life. So <clears throat> your obliques are a big deal, just as your abs. And of course, with you know with any muscle, if you train and work out, they're gonna get bigger. And the same applies to your obliques. If you train them, they will get stronger and bigger. Which is nothing wrong with that, unless you have a sport. To where your your obliques can ruin your um, your um, athleticism, not your athleticism, but your your physique. For example, in bodybuilding, you know it's not good to have a wide waist <clears throat> because it can create it can create illusion <clears throat> of making you uh, well. It can it can overshadow uh, certain muscles on your body to make you look bigger than you really are or smaller. So, in bodybuilding. Uh, not training your obliques to to uh, to a degree or or hundred percent is an understandable thing because when I was in bodybuilding, I didn't put much emphasis on my on my obliques because <clears throat> I already had a small tiny waist and I didn't want to take away from creating that, of that <clears throat> of ruining the illusion that I look bigger than I really do from having a smaller waist. So that's understandable, but <clears throat> if you're not in bodybuilding and you do and you do any kind of sport, your obliques will play a significant role in helping you being stronger in that sport and more better, better of an athlete. Because <clears throat> right? again, your obliques play a big role in, into your rotational power, your punching power, your power to take somebody down, uh, your kicking power when you kick the ball when you kick somebody, uh, when you swing the, the golf club, the baseball bat, all that is rotational power, uh, trunk, Flexion and movement power that comes from your, not only your ass but your obliques and give you more power in doing a certain movement in a sport. So <clears throat> it's important that you train your obliques because just like with anything else in your body, if you don't train a certain thing in your body, then it affects everything else into where the body won't grow its maximum potential to uh, help you become bigger and stronger. Stronger to where you need to be in a certain sport, or where you're trying to be to uh, be stronger at. Because, like for example, <clears throat> hey, look at this. I can't compare it. For example, if you just train your upper body <coughs> and not your legs, <coughs> you will be <coughs> you'll be limiting your potential because your legs release a lot of a lot of growth hormones because since they're big muscles, you know, and you know you kind of hurt you and well, working on the lower half of your body, you're limiting your potential on, on big and strong you be. And, and that's how it goes with, with the obliques. If you limit your training on your obliques, and then it affects everything else in your body, and you're, less, you're less likely to be able to reach your maximum potential because your obliques, the stronger your obliques are, the more you're able to do in certain, in certain compound movements such as squats, deadlifts, <coughs> uh, uh, military pressing, uh, push-ups, or anything general that involves obliques. So, the stronger they are, the more you're going to be able to do in an exercise. And the more stronger you are, you're going to be in a sport. And most people have horribly weak oblique muscles because they place too much emphasis on training their abs. So, <clears throat> point, so the main things you need to take from this video, guys, is train your obliques. They play a significant role in making you stronger in any, uh, any sport or daily activity. And
they're more important than your abs from a pure athletic standpoint because due to bending the rotation and flexion of the of the of the cord or the torso, they help us in being able to help you deliver more power and strength in whatever type of movement that you're doing. Three, you know, you don't need to do these if you're off in a uh, you don't need to do these if you're doing a sport such as bodybuilding or if you are doing a sport to where you are using your bleach a lot so you're exempt from probably not having to really focus on training your bleaks and the last one guys is treat your bleaks <clears throat> just as equally as any muscle in your body every muscle in your body is important if you don't train a muscle in your body then it affects everything else which can affect you in the future or in, in a few weeks you know so everything in your body works together in unison when one thing is out of whack or not on part with everything else, it affects your, your physical capabilities and your potential growth to be the strongest possible or, or biggest possible. But guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and found the information beneficial. If you did, make sure you share it with other people. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, guys, I did a video of me uh, working at my obliques that you can watch to get an idea of ways that you can train your obliques. Or you can get on YouTube or, or Google and type up oblique exercises that you can start using today to start strengthening your oblique muscles. But guys, that's it. I'm your man from Gusta Rise Above. And until next time, bye-bye.